Hello everybody and welcome to another video about the migration script. In the previous video I have started a migration or a demo about the migration from version 10 uh, to version 12 and in the previous video I have migrated uh, the demo data. So I'm going to do the same here to migrate the demo data from version 9 is this one okay both are local and the other one it's version 12 and it will be uh, um, initiated also on local machine both are using different uh, ports okay so this will be going uh, to be quick a little bit so I'm going to run the script so as you can see you will have a report about all the migrated data this is the source as you can see they are the same because again they are using the same database manager uh, it's locally uh, <clears throat> it's locally uh, installed. So we have also these uh, databases. This is the source database and also the target database. All the modules, or I'm sorry, the models, the tables which are migrated um, to make sure that everything is uh, correctly done. As you can see, we have created the stock moves. I'm sorry, migrated stock moves, stock inventory. Uh, we have risk company, risk partners. We have party risk uh, partners. Also, product templates. We have 69. Uh, we have migrated also um, account invoice, seven invoices, uh, and of course, their related uh, invoice lines. Um, this also includes the sales order. Okay, but um, I think that I'm can, I cannot find it here. Okay. So also the tables that updated and we have 100 records updated successfully in IR property. By the way, IR property is company properties in, in the UI and um, it's about the default values like um, payable account and receivable account for partners. Okay, in total we have migrated around 1,700 uh, of rows migrated successfully. So let's do um, a quick check. I will log in and post instances. Okay, this is version 9. I will check the contacts. As you can see here, almost every single record has been migrated from here to there. Um, also, um, even um, the logos, um, I'm sorry, the, the photos of uh, as accounts also are migrated. Um, we have here um, Arthur Jomez, also we have Arthur Jomez. So as you can see, this, the order of these customers are a little bit different. But for example, if we check this one, um, you have this customer here, you have checked everything in, in it. And let's say that you um, wanted to make sure that um, this guy has this title job position is software developer and you want to, to check this in in, uh, in the old database of course you might not find it directly you, let's say that you have this form here this is what i did not mention in in, uh, in the previous video that both are having the same id so in the url you have 18 for this guy if you move to the other one here you got it you can check the job position. The same can be done for, let's say, the invoices. You have the invoices, and for some reason you have um, you suspend, or let's say you are not sure that the invoices uh, are correctly done. Um, as you can see here, let's say you have um, a quick overview. Uh, we have the same states. We have the same um, uh, customers. The totals are here are the same. As a new database um, assuming that we have this one okay and uh, you have another invoice and you want to check if this invoice is migrated correctly all you need to do you need to do is to get the ID and type it here so by clicking here you got it you can easily match the databases and make sure that everything has been migrated successfully um, if you want to um, check more about how to migrate um, you can find it on YouTube like I'm doing right now how to migrate to the database you can find this video here so I will uh, yes stopping it and you can also check the, the presentation found in in this video okay you can find it in the description okay so this is a presentation you can find it here so you can check uh, more about the migration script okay thank you guys